and we are back. <clears throat> I zap my coffee. It is hot, thank you very much. I'm going to have one sip before it goes cold again. Too hot, too hot, too hot. Okay, so um, we're gonna go ahead and get started painting in case you haven't painted um, in a while or you need any tips or, tu or tutorials or tricks. Now, I wanted to make this project, um, being the first project, as approachable as possible for you guys, so I wanna have it be as flexible for whatever you have on hand. Um, as possible. As we move along, I might be more specific with needs, but for now, use what paint you have, do some mixing. Um, I just want to be honest with you because I really want to make this approachable. This is the only brush I used for everything. Yippity do. I used one brush to see if I could do it and I just washed in between colors and I used one corner of this. It's a foam brush you get from the dollar store or anywhere. Um, if you have another brush, I would pretty much ask you to use a flat as much as you could, like the flat tip as much as possible, just because um, with this kind of a project where you don't necessarily need a completely smooth surface, you want to have an, ed um, an edge that you can go right down in there and get all of that area, okay? So you're gonna wanna have um, probably a foam brush. It's the best for this particular project. Um, because you're gonna to want to go like that and you don't want to do that with a nice brush so don't have a really expensive brush or anything with delicate bristles thin bristles you want something that can stand up to the that you're gonna be doing and then the other thing I was gonna say was um, before you start painting the reason that I had you have masking tape on hand is if you had one of those pumpkins that you do not take the stem out of you're gonna need to tape that off really carefully and tape the whole thing up just so you don't have to worry about it tape the whole stem up and then that way um, that's what the tape is for so I didn't mean I, I forgot to mention that last video so um, working on angles of this light so it stops having a um, ring in my eyeball hey 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 no, that's ridiculous. Let me see if I can tilt it up. It's a little better. Okay. So, um, back to the painting. So, what I wanted to do is go ahead and make sure you have... I have one of these handy-dandy lap desks. I'm telling you I use it all the time. So, uh, I, I debated doing the name Couch Crafter. So, if you are an entrepreneur and you're out there looking for a new idea... You're welcome. But uh, I went ahead and did Nap Time Crafter because to me um, it's more intuitive of um, small projects, even though I've just taken four darn pro videos. Here I am starting, and I'm literally just going straight down at a 90 degree angle so that I can get into all these areas. Now, let me talk a little bit about this color that I have that I'm using. Um, I had, shoot, it's a folk art color, and it's um, like a sagey color, but when I poured it out, it seemed a little sad town to me, so I ended up adding a tiny bit of this blue that's next to it, just a tiny bit. I mean, we're talking like 10% of the whole thing, and I mixed that together with that sage color, and all it did was brighten it up. And the fun thing about paint colors is um, it takes two seconds to mix something else into it. Um, and if you have never played around with mixing colors, it is really fun. Um, one of my jobs <clears throat> used to be uh, color and um, matching colors specifically for um, digital printing and for color matching is a big part of what I do. Can you speak? And um, so anyway, Long story short, I figured out that I really do love color theory and putting colors together and I enjoy making um, palettes and vision boards and mood boards and things like that. So, um, I am just, this paint is actually really, really good. Um, and so it's really good coverage for just one coat. So I'm actually able to do this paint in just one coat. So I'm just dib dab dib dab dibbing. Now, I will be honest with you, as this dries, you were, you are going to find spots you missed. You will. So, give yourself a break. 
go go ahead and go back over oh that's something to th keep in mind if you're making your own color oh, thank goodness while we're talking I can think of these um, if you're making your own color make sure you make enough to do a couple of coats and or however many pumpkins you want to make with that color because you'll never be able to match that color exactly right if you're just dip dabbing from different things you just won't I mean you will if you have experience with it but you won't if you're just doing this for the first time and you're just kind of screwing around why would you colors dry differently than what they look wet do yourself a favor make a lot if you end up really liking that color and you think you're going to use it if you have um, the other tip I was going to tell you is if you have a color in a bottle that you really like as is and that's the color that you um, maybe have based your color palette on or you have used it on some other area of your house like a sign or something like that I tend to kind of like use colors sporadically throughout my house so that it um, feels really cohesive um, and so if you do then what I would suggest is to use that color as um, the one that you can sacrifice if you have to put the project down and come back to it later um, you want to use that color because then it doesn't matter if you don't if you run out or if it dries out on your palette or if you have to run away and drop something so what I would start with is mixing your own colors and doing those colors first saving the ones that you know are your tried and true um, or do like a little bit so you see how it color matches or whatever but all I'm saying is use that color that goes straight from the bottle onto your pumpkin as your um, flexible color that you can come in and out to and keep working on in between your flexible schedule. I'm trying to make this a real life situation. Um, things are going to be, your kid's going to wake up or somebody's going to come knocking. I don't, you know, this doesn't specifically have to be for moms. It's really just more about um, doing crafts in your spare time whenever you have five minutes. So, um, okay, enough talking with this one. Done. I did a half and then I kind of just kind of took it up and around the side. So um, if you have a really, really air conditioned spot in your house, I just happen to be sitting in Antarctica right now. So I can just like basically set this down and it'll be dry in like 90 seconds. But if you don't happen to have a um, leaf blower air conditioning unit like I do, um, you can just simply sit it outside or sit it on a counter and try to obviously leave one side that is dry so that you can set that side down um, which I've just realized that I've set myself up with nowhere to put this down uh, excellent so I'm gonna sacrifice my lap desk and just set it right onto it because why not what's it gonna hurt it's gonna be a little pink okay now on to my next pumpkin so I have decided, let's go back in and show you what I've got going on so far. So I've got two of these bluer pumpkins, I've got one small green one, I've got a gray one that's solid gray and then I took that champagne and put it on top of it. And then I've got this guy that's half champagne, half blue, and it's one of the larger ones. And I also, I like taking that champagne on a dry brush and brushing it over the texture because I just think it really gives it a nice cohesive look overall um, and then it makes it look like they're all a big happy family so I'm gonna bring it nice and close it's looking so good guys I'm sure you guys are really excited and then last time I showed you how I just cut the sticks and shoved it right in I didn't even have to use the glue so Ooh, score! gotta love those happy accidents okay so now this next one Technically, I need a new brush because this is dirty. So, boozers. Where's that flat one that I just was showing you? <coughs> oh, it's probably gonna wake him up. I just suck spit down. I just suck spit down my throat. Real talk. Um. Okay. So I'm gonna use this one. I have a really other pretty Mar Martha Stewart one color called rose gold. <laughs> get that and you can get these at Walmart at um, Joann's Michaels wherever your local craft store is she carries them everywhere because they are good and then this is the other one that I like which is rose copper it's a little bit deeper I meant to pour that one out to be completely honest with you but I didn't so and then this is the champagne that you need I needed like four or five coats to cover over the black sharpie I love you Martha Stewart if you're watching 
<laughs> if you're watching, one can dream. Um, I should have used not a black marker on this one. That's all I'm saying. If you're using a light one, don't use black. Okay, get started. What I'm gonna do is, because I have that darker metallic that I know I wanna use, I'm gonna do the darker on the bottom and I'm gonna use the layer on the top. All light play. So, I'm just starting. Do, 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 do. Hopefully we don't have the same issue with the champagne, but it's looking like we might. Do, do, do. And you just wanna make sure you're getting down. I did exactly what I told you not to do and I did not take off the hot glue on this, the strings. I can already see it stringy. Unbelievable. Okay, well, we're moving, we're moving forward. Nobody got times for uh, moving around. We're gonna just keep going. I literally just took it down to the bottom and I said I was gonna take the darker color on the. Ooh. Moving forward with your life despite interruptions like stupid brain. Moving around the corner. If anybody wonders if I sing to my kid? Yeah, I do. Yeah, I do. So, I need more of this already. Can you please comment and tell me if you like the way that I'm doing this and breaking it up into four smaller videos versus one long one? Because I gotta be honest with you, ain't nobody got time to sit there and watch a 40 minute video. And I'm trying to do this realistic, like this is us hanging out and crafting together. In my craft classes, that was the best part of the craft class was just like shooting the heck with, shooting the heck. Can you tell I'm really trying not to cuss? I have a child that's absorbing every word that comes out of my mouth, so I'm really trying to adjust my language, but. Anyway, that was my favorite part of classes was just kind of like working and talking and talking with people. And I really miss that part of it, but um, you know, scheduling is just too hard. I can't, I can't chase a bunch of people down when my own availability is wishy-washy. You know what I'm saying? Like, I need to make money, or I'm not even making money doing this. I'm just having fun. But I make money doing miniatures, and I need to do that in my own time. And this is a way for me to get the other projects done, and um, honestly log them so that I don't just like put them on my story and then they disappear forever because I would like to um you know save these some people ask me how I make stuff and I'll be like oh blah 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 it's too long to do okay so I just sat there and did the top of that pumpkin I think actually that looks pretty good huh two coats is probably going to be okay with this guy good to know um again nowhere to put this So this is going to take a minute to dry because my AC turned off. <laughs> it's literally like that. Um, <clears throat> let me just tell you one other thing before I let you go and then I'll come back. Um, oh yeah, because I have to go get the copper ribbon. I mean the copper wire to do the little stringies and then we'll assemble it all. Um, please tell me if you like the small, oh my gosh, almost 14 minutes. Man, I can talk. The other thing is, if you like if you think you're gonna even think about putting these outside, cover this before you go any further. I mean, after you paint, but before you use them, cover them, because you need to seal it for being outside. I'm gonna use mine inside because Florida weather is like, I don't wanna put anything out there anyway, unless it's like wood, but um, you just need to cover it because otherwise it'll crack and it'll be yucky and you won't get the life out of it that you want. So um, I'm gonna let this dry and then go ahead and, um, oh yeah, I showed you some of my colors, but I'll go ahead and write the other ones that I use because they're not handy to show you. And I will also um, list the amazing cutters. Oh my God, I have another pumpkin. Wow. And I'll finish this, but this is 15 minutes, come on. <laughs> 